Hey, what's up my YouTube family? You know who's in the house. It's your man DJ Roxy from Roxy Entertainment. Coming to you with another video. And to this video, as you can see in front of me, we're going to be talking about DJ related stuff. I know that this channel is based on DJ equipment, beat making, studio production and stuff. I really been putting the DJ stuff on the back burner. But good news for everyone that subscribed to this channel because of the DJ part of this channel. I'm going to be doing and I promise to be doing a lot of DJ related videos from now on. Um, so as you can see in front of me, I have the Techniques 1210 M5Gs, which if you watch my videos, you know that these are my favorite, my all time favorite DJ Tom tables. Um, and in front of me, I have the CDJs 2000 Nestors 2, which when it comes to the CDJs, are uh, the flagship until recently. Um, woke up this morning and uh, I saw the new release of uh, the CDJ 3000. And I'm gonna, you know, give you my points on that, on what I think about the CDJ 3000 and also um, would it be something that you want to upgrade if you have the CDJ 2000 Nestors 2? So, um, so let's start with the video. Once again, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, it's the perfect time to hit a subscribe button for interesting videos like this. So why do I use my CDJs more than my Techniques turntables um, when I'm doing gigs? And one of the main reason for that is the option of having these as standalones um, versus with my turntables, um, I don't have that option. So sometimes I be doing gigs far away from home, three hours, four hours away from home. And you know, um, if, if I remember two years ago, um, I bought a brand new MacBook um, and I took it with me on my gig. It was a four hour drive to go, four hours drive to come. That was an eight hour drive. Um, and when I reached there and I finished hooked up everything and I'm ready to like, you know, start to DJ, you know, start my, 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 uh, my gig, uh, my computer died down. Now I did not have my backup computer because um, I was so relied on this MacBook that was brand new. Um, so I figured that, you know what, it's a brand new MacBook, what, you know, nothing can happen, it's good. Um, now, I'm not talking bad about Mac or Apple in general, they are great, they're fantastic, I use all of my products are Mac, Apple products. All my computers are Mac, MacBooks, and stuff like that. But that particular MacBook that I bought brand new two years ago died down on me, and luckily, I had my CDJs. Now, if I didn't have my CDJs in a town, which is a ghost town, it's very, it's very beautiful um, town, but it's like, it's not like you can go somewhere and buy a new MacBook or, you know, buy some DJ gas or whatever. It's really isolated from the real world. Um, so, I luckily, I had my CDJs and I installed my hard drive to my CDJs and I did my whole gig. Um, on my CDJs and since that incident, I realized how important it is for me to use my CDJs um, versus using my turntables because if that day I took in my turntables, I couldn't do that gig and I would have looked bad. I would have gotten a bad review, which all of my reviews are five star review for my DJ, uh, you know, uh, company. So I would have gotten a bad review. Um, I'm pretty sure, um, cause they would have said, you know, this guy is not equipped. He charged all this money for this gig and he was not equipped. Um, and they would be right. So, um, the reason why I use my CDJs more than my turntables, that one factor. The next factor would be the weight that, uh, carrying this stuff around, carrying turntables around. And when it comes to the techniques, they are not as heavy as let's say the PLX 1000. Those PLX 1000 are super, super heavy. Highly recommend those turntables. I love the PLX 1000, but they will have to stay at home in the studio because they are very, very heavy. Now, even uh, the techniques that are lighter than the PLX or a lot of turntables out there, they're still heavy to carry around, especially when you put them in a case. 
Now versus the CDJs, they are lighter to carry around. Um, and believe it, some people might be saying like, yo, you know, what, what's, what's the big deal? It's probably less than 10 pounds less. Yes, but when you finish a gig, 10 pounds less on each equipment that you carry is a lot of weight off your, off your back. You know, so um, that's one reason that I love my CDJs. They're so easy to carry around. There's, I have these in soft cases. Of course, they're protected um, with dust covers and everything, but they're in soft cases, so I can lift them up with one finger. Um, and that means a lot to me. I cannot do that with my turntables. It's, it's a lot heavier um, DJing with my turntables. Um, so that's another factor why I love to DJ with my CDJs. Um, another factor is um, working in the dark. Um, sometimes when I'm DJing in some of the gigs, especially if it's, you know, a highly crowded gigs, um, I love the lights to be very dim. And with the CDJs, I'm being able to maneuver myself around um, looking for music or, you know, just maneuvering myself around in general with the CDJs and the turntables. Another big factor is needles. Now, we all know that the replacement needle um, are gone up to the roof when it comes to the show 44-7. And um, it's two needles that I highly recommend, which are the Artifons, um, the Q-Bots Artifons especially, uh, which I own those Q-Bots, and the show 44-7. Now, I rather the show 44-7, but um, the, the replacement stylus is very expensive. They cost a lot of money, um, so um, actually like needles right now is not an option that I want to go ahead and be buying every minute. Um, I broke the needle on this turntable the last time that I used it and then I had to replace that needle and it was $150 just for the stylus. That was a lot of money, um, so that's another factor. Um, and there's many little things more that I'm not really going to add in this video. Um, but it's a lot of little stuff that i rather use the CDJs instead of using my turntables. Now, um, it's great to use my turntables at home, um, but for the gigs and stuff, my CDJs. Now, woke up this morning, um, you know, once again, happy birthday to me. Um, and the first thing, I opened up uh, YouTube and I saw that they had a video showing the new release of the CDJ 3000, um, which for me, when I saw it, I was it was like love at first sight. So definitely, I will be getting a pair of those CDJs in the future. Um, the 3000, I think that what they did to the 3000 um, for me is more than than enough for me to upgrade to those 3000. The bigger screen. Um, the layout of the cue points for me, the layout of the cue points means a lot to me. So having that um, really make me want to upgrade to those. I'm not saying that anything is wrong with the CDJ 2000 Nessus. Um, I think these are great. These, uh, these CDJs are really ahead of its time. Um, so it's many use, it's many times, it's many, uh, you know, gigs that you can do with these before replacing them. And they last forever. Um, the only thing that goes bad really with CDJs most of the time are the CD trays and most of us are not using the CD trays anymore. We're not using CDs anymore. So they last forever. So the only problem that they have is something that we don't really use. So that's something that you know you don't have. And on the CDJ 3000, they even eliminated the CDJ or the CD player from the CDJ, so, which is great. All right, I would like to close off this video. Let me know what you think about the new CDJ 3000. Let me know if you would be upgrading to the new CDJ 3000 or whether you have the 2000 or 1000, whatever CDJ you have. Let me know in your comments below which CDJ you have and if you plan to upgrade to the 3000. Now, if uh, these CDJ 2000 Nessus 2 will come down in price, you know, when you don't want to spend that kind of money, I highly recommend you get the CDJ 2000 Nessus 2 because um, I'm pretty sure that these going to
go down in value since the new CDJ is gonna be released. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up this video. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, it's a perfect time to hit a subscribe button for more interesting videos like this. Shaman DJ Roxy from Roxy Entertainment. Until next time. Yeah. Yeah.